Hi, my name is Brian Telestai, and I am the playwright, uh, composer, and lyricist for LARP the Musical. I heard about LARPing from a friend and kind of what the universe or what the culture was like and just thought it was a really interesting place for a story to take place and uh, I think it's really pertinent with today's um, culture for uh, millennials we grew up uh, with the internet and with these um, kind of anonymous social spaces where we could in basically invent a uh, persona of who we wanted to be and then uh, this is kind of a physical extension of that. LARPing Pink. stands for <laughs> Live Action Role Play and uh, it stemmed from the world of the tabletop board game Dungeons and Dragons. Instead of rolling dice for their characters, uh, they take actions in the physical world. Who knew role play would be so intense? Uh, the, mu the musical takes place in the actual town, but the mythical town of Port Republic, New Jersey. <laughs> across the realm. These LARPers come in uh, to take place in this festival where they have to go out into the forest to the north and capture and return the Jersey Devil. I play Kresh. He is a knight. He is uh, what players would refer to kind of as the tank of the group. There's only going to be one clan coming home with that trophy and it will be the most wise or the most noble victory belongs to those who have strength to strike their opponents meaning that uh, I do a lot of offensive moves and I have a lot of health or hit points uh, so I can take a lot of damage. So the music in uh, LARP the Musical is kind of what I would classify as melodic uh, hard rock or melodic metal. <laughs> world of LARPing, they talk about riding into battle, and there's actually a whole genre of, of metal and hard rock that's already kind of based around this Norse mythology. It's like just over the top, ridiculous uh, bravado of riding into battle and conquering your foe. <laughs> began writing the script about one year ago, so that's just dialogue and stage direction. And I started with uh, an outline of just who the characters are um, and what happens in the story. Alright, so in this transition, I have Hayden Grace and Sam moving pillars. Just like this scene takes place here, and these two things happen in the scene, and then the next scene, and it was just a big puzzle trying to figure out where the characters fit in, who they were, what they wanted, and how the, those stories track throughout the play. Music is a lot more draining creatively than to sit down and write the play because a play, like once I have the structure, it's just kind of like telling a story and figuring out and the lines kind of flow naturally, but music for me is something much more um, creative and much more uh, harder to kind of pin down and figure out where the feeling goes throughout the song and, and what chords I want to use, what key it's going to be in, what the lyrics are going to be, what time signature it's going to be in, all those different things have to come in and then how the, the melody is going to uh, support the lyrics and uh, what harmonies with other characters are coming in and what stage directions or what action has to happen throughout the song. I'm Joshua Schneider. I'm the director of LARP the Musical. So, y'all are going to be in the scene, this grand hall again. So just come in from the same place. Um, this has been a huge production. It has been ginormous. There's so many people involved. We have been in, we did rehearsal for six weeks um, for this show, which is, with a show this big, it's, it's kind of a, small window of time. But what's really impressive about this whole process is that it's um, it comes from TMA. This, this musical, this production, comes from uh, the Theater Majors Association. 
which is a uh, student uh, club on campus. The Theater Majors Association voted on uh, what play they were going to do. They selected LARP and um, then they went about selecting a team. But this has been a huge project. Uh, this was a ginormous, this is a big musical. So I was one of the people who went in to interview to be a director for the show and then a bunch of other people went in to uh, interview for different design um, portions of the show. So there's uh, lighting and sound, and props, and costumes, and makeup. It's going to get noisy. My name is Shantae Heyman and I'm the costume designer. <laughs> um, it's going to sound kind of a little nerdy. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and uh, there's Giles turns into. He's a feral demon, and um, I kind of modeled him after a feral demon a bit. So I have a, an assistant, and then I have two dressers, and I also have two makeup artists, and I also have a makeup designer. So she was the one that um, built the prosthetic. I love child of Jethro and the Jersey Devil. <laughs> oh, okay. Junior. <laughs> I'm Samantha Lancaster and I'm playing Jade Shot. Uh, um, I'm actually an actor combatant with the Society of American Fight Directors, so I've done um, 30 hours of training in unarmed combat, rapier, dagger, and broadsword, um, in addition to hours at quarterstaff and knife and sword and shield and a whole bunch of other weapons. Um, and I, I was an assistant on Romeo and Juliet last semester. I worked on Claudius and Cressida last year, um, and I choreographed for Crimes of the Heart and Matt and Ben. It's always fun coming in and having everyone, because everyone's at different levels, you know, some of the actors have had um, combat with me from different shows versus some who have never picked up a weapon before, so being able to um, sort of train the basics as well as working with those actors who kind of already have a grasp and being able to get them further, it's always really exciting for me and kind of a fun challenge for me to try and help them feel confident fighting, especially if they've never picked up a weapon before. Um, so that's my main goal, is always to make sure that the actors feel like their fights represent their character and that they are confident and feel really cool on stage doing them. Happy birthday!